In this tutorial, we will see how to derive EMF equation of a transformer. First, we will understand the working principle of transformer. Transformer has two windings. One is the primary winding and another one is the secondary winding. Primary winding has N1 number of turns and secondary winding has N2 number of turns. This primary winding is connected to the supply and the secondary winding is connected to the load. Then both the primary and secondary windings are placed in the common magnetic core. When the primary winding is excited by the alternating voltage which will circulate alternating current, that alternating current in turn produces the alternating flux phi. This alternating flux links with the primary winding itself induces an EMF called E1. Then the flux links with the secondary winding through this common magnetic core induces EMF called E2. This induced EMF is called mutually induced EMF. Now we will derive the EMF equation of a transformer. The various quantities which affect the magnitude of the induced EMF are one is the flux phi. Phi m is the maximum value of the flux and n1 is the number of turns in the primary winding and n2 is the number of turns in the secondary winding and f is the supply frequency and e1 is the rms value of induced emf in the primary winding and e2 is the rms value of induced emf in the secondary winding according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction the average EMF induced in each turn is proportional to the average rate of change of flux. So, average EMF per turn is equal to average rate of change of flux which is d phi by dt. The induced fluxes are alternating in nature. F is the supply frequency. So, the time record to complete the one cycle is 1 by F. Phi M is the maximum value of the flux. So, if you consider 1 by 4th of the cycle, so the time record to complete this cycle is 1 by 4F. Because for 1 cycle, the time record is 1 by F. For 1 by 4th cycle, the time record is 1 by 4F. So, phi is equal to phi M sin omega t. The phi M is the maximum value of the flux. d phi by dt is equal to change in flux divided by time record for change in flux. If you consider 1 by 4th of the cycle, the flux is changing from 0 to phi m. So, change, is, change in flux is phi m minus 0 divided by time record for the change in flux is 1 by 4 f. So, which is equal to phi m into 4 f. So, the average emf per turn is equal to d phi by dt which is equal to 4 f phi m volts since the flux is a sinusoidal the induced emf in the both the primary and the secondary winding also sinusoidal so for a sinusoidal quantity we should find the rms value so the form factor is equal to rms value divided by average value which is equal to 1.11 so from this if you derive rms value that is equal to 1.11 into average value. So far we have derived the expression for average EMF per turn. Now we have to find the RMS value of induced EMF per turn. So RMS value is equal to 1.11 into average EMF per turn. So 1.11 into average EMF per turn is 4F phi M. So 4F phi M which is equal to 4.44 F phi m. So 4.44 F phi m is the RMS value of induced EMF per turn. So primary has N1 number of turns. So the in RMS value of induced EMF in the primary is equal to 4.44 F phi m into N1 so likewise, secondary winding has N2 number of turns. So the RMS value of induced EMF in the secondary that is E2 is equal to 4.44 F phi M into N2. 
So the final equations are RMS value of induced EMF in the primary winding is E1 which is equal to 4.44 FIM N1 volts and the RMS value of induced EMF in the secondary winding E2 is 4.44 FIM N2 volts. E1 and E2 are the EMF equations of the transformer. E1 is the induced EMF in the primary winding and E2 is the EMF induced in the secondary winding and N1 is the number of turns in the primary and N2 is the number of turns in the secondary. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos.